Halloween party people. I'm still doing some Halloween drinks. Uh, it is ridiculously windy outside, so I'm coming to you from my couch. I was going to do the kitchen, but that's a whole, you know, homeschooling setup nightmare. So we're coming to you from my couch today, and I'm going to make the Vampire Kiss Martini, which you are going to love. Uh, it's really simple. It's kind of a basic, just good tasting martini, and then you make it look bloody. So it's easy. Uh, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with some blood. First, I rimmed a martini glass with some red little crystals, you know, for like cake decorating. Um, so red sugar, any kind of red, always good. You could do black. It's up to you. I got, of course, the Luxardo Real Maraschino Cherries. I am going to drizzle, because this is really thick. I thought about doing grenadine, which if you have grenadine, you can do grenadine. Um, it's not as thick as this is. See how like crazy gooey thick that is? Um, and I thought, well, that is what I want on the sides of my martini. So you're going to have to do some red goo running down the sides of your inside of your martini glass. You really just kind of drip it on the top. And it'll pool in the bottom and eat it off your spoon unless you're serving people. <laughs> um, this is like the best maraschino stuff. If you can get your hands on it, it's usually at liquor stores. It's like eight or nine bucks. Worth it. Worth it. Uh, and it's for like Manhattans and the real deal. So um, here we go. We've got our blood, our goo dripping down. We are going to start with creme de cacao, which is chocolate liqueur. Oh, and if you have it sitting around, just so you know, that top gets, it's sugary, so the top gets really stuck. So just remember that. Uh, I'm going to pour a shot. Creme de cacao my uncle Jim is afraid of and I'll tell him right now it's chocolate and it's lovely and it tastes good uh, then vanilla vodka another shot so we've got chocolate and vanilla two sweet clear liqueurs and Bailey's the uh, the big the cheap Bailey's will work too it's just a martini for fun but you know get a get an Irish cream liqueur shot And we're going to shake it. Since it's a little gooey and I'm on my couch, I'm going to get the towel here just to be careful. And we're going to just shake it really lightly to combine. There we go. And we are going to strain over our little blood goo, our blood bath of a martini here. So just pour it in. Fill it to the brim. Oh, it's perfect. I don't always get it perfect on the first try. That was pretty, pretty sweet. And speaking of sweet, this is going to be very, very sweet. It's going to be tasty. Do you see how like blood settles? The red rim looks really pretty. It's really just a chocolatey Bailey's-ish martini. So tasty is always good. I'm gonna take a little sip just to check. Make sure I don't lie to you guys. That's delicious. And then the most fun thing you can do is grab some vampire teeth and just hook them on the side. the vampire martini it uh it wants to suck your blood so make this you'll enjoy it it's a fun really kind of elegant pretty for a halloween party uh and it's also fun for like you know monday afternoon i don't care it's really good enjoy it i hope you're enjoying the halloween drinks spectacular spooktacular whatever cheesy things you want to do 
going to watch some more Halloween movies this weekend. I'm going to think up some more cool drinks. Uh, hopefully, I'll actually get set up outside again because that's a little bit more fun than, than sitting on my couch making drinks. Uh, or is it? Or is it? Because I could just bring this to you from my couch, and I think that could have a whole new thing. So, make it. Enjoy it. Have an amazing weekend. I'm going to make some margaritas here because it's Margarita Friday. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Mwah.